Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it is the final war of season 25. And I was about to go to bed when I realized I had not stepped in here yet. Uh, we are doing a boss rush, but that still means that we are going to do all of the paths in section one. And then everyone will go to the left side to uh, clear those paths. The main goal is the boss. If we can get some exploration in, great, but we're not going for the win. So let me see, whoops. Uh, I told you I'm ready to go to bed. Uh, but it looks like Big Bang Italy is who we are going to be fighting for the last war of the season. Uh, let's check out the defense. I'm really late, so they've probably done, yep, already cleared that middle path there um i still have my path thankfully there's no links so uh i wasn't holding anybody up spider-man stark enhanced shouldn't be a problem uh i hate fighting mr fantastic but that doesn't look like he will be a problem then we've got this uh black widow clairvoyant uh should be able to take her with my black widow clairvoyant um we've got howard the duck and Blade, um, Claire can take both of those. We've got that Iron Man uh, Infinity War on here. Uh, if I boost, I should be able to handle him with uh, Warlock. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Mini Boss Island here. All right, so we've got Iceman. Warlock could do that one. The Rage might be a concern, however. Uh, then we've got this Killmonger up there. I do not like fighting Killmongers. Uh, it might be that someone will bring a better counter. We've got Doom over there. Uh, we'll see what leadership decides. Since we're not going for the win, we're trying to do it itemless. All right. Um, we've got Mojo down there. Void. Mole Man. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to wait and see. Uh, I don't have any particular counters I'm planning to bring that would be the best for these guys. Uh, so we will focus on clearing our path and then we will see after that. All right, so uh, we'll be back in a minute and I will do these fights unless somebody grabs her, I should be able to clear my path. Let me see, it's one, two, three. Four, five, so I should be able to reach her uh, and do that in one sweep. All right, so I will be right back. All right, so got my standard team uh, that I'm going in here with. They can handle pretty much anyone that I've seen uh, on the path. I'm still watching out for that Iron Man Infinity War. Uh, that I will swap out Warlock for Magneto next time. But in any case, uh, this is the final war of the season. Uh, we're doing a boss rush. And if you're unfamiliar with that, the main goal is to get the boss down. Uh, different alliances do boss rushes differently. Uh, sometimes you'll send in, uh, you know, three or four people, see if they can get the boss down. Then the rest can come in and do exploration for some extra points. That's one method. Uh, we went with everyone clear the first section, all paths. Then for section two, everyone does only uh, one side. All right. So this first fight, pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, the main thing to worry about with him is that evade. Uh, a lot of people don't realize, and I mentioned it in a previous war video, that he has two different evades that you have to worry about. Uh, he has a base evade, but he also has a um, specials evade, I would say, that are based on his AI. So, um, and that's the kit AI, not just the computer AI. So like when you fire off a heavy or if you're attacking him with a cosmic, it shuts down that Stark AI. So you don't get that evade and you can hit him with specials but he still has the base evade. So he can still evade. That has caught more than one person 
Um, they thought if they shut down the Stark AI, he's not going to evade anymore, but that's not true. He still has a chance. And of course, in Alliance War, that chance is doubled or tripled, it seems. All right, so second fight went pretty smoothly. Uh, you do not want to throw specials against uh, Mr. Fantastic or you'll mess yourself up for the rest of the uh, uh, quest if you're doing a quest or a war if you're doing a war. Uh, that's why I went in with Nick Fury because he was going to tear him up and didn't need to use any specials to do it. All right, so now we're about to go into section two. And I looked here. They had already cleared uh, the other mini, but we've got this Black Widow here. Now, Black Widow on this node, I like to go in with my Black Widow because of the EMP modification. You don't want to go in with someone who relies on a lot of buffs. So straightforward fight. What I want to do here is just avoid triggering decks. That's why you saw me block. Unfortunately, she still puts something on you, but you want to block. What she puts on you, far less than what you'll get if you evade and that EMP modification kicks in. You don't want that. You'll get a lot more damage. Better to do what you saw me doing there and just block. You can also take off decks from your masteries. And a lot of uh, alliances that are at like the master's level, that's what they do. They may change their masteries uh, m twice during a war or three times, depending on the fights. Uh, they are dedicated. All right, so like I said, we're going to do a boss rush all left. So that's why you saw that my path uh, that I usually take, path three, was taken. So I'm like, okay, we're not going for the win anyway. But I looked at this Hyperion and I was told to, uh, you know, get this Hyperion and then stop. And I wasn't quite sure uh, why. I think uh, they had someone else uh, that they were planning to come in and do the next fight, which uh, was fine. All right, so the reason why I love uh, Nick Fury for Hyperion is if Hyperion decides to act up and not throw his specials and just do that B-boy stance uh, for you old heads, you know what I'm talking about with the B-boy stance. Cross your arms. I just sit there like that. That's like a b-boy stance back in the day. Um, he might do that, and the next thing you know, you're eating a special three. Well, with Nick Fury, he's not going to die from a special three initially. So because I had a lot of health, I could have taken one special three. I would have still had the life model decoy out. Then I could have taken another special three even, but he wasn't surviving. All right, so now... Mephisto, this is where I was surprised that I was told to hold here because Black Widow Clairvoyant can do this fight. Uh, you know, cycle to a curse of Hellfire, but I was told to wait. Then later on, uh, I don't know what happened, but I, I think the person that they were going to come in with, I think he had a red halt, uh, went and uh, took the uh, hazard shift path uh, node, uh, I think. But as you can see, they already downed the boss, which means uh, this is just free points and I don't have to worry about the global, uh, which I wasn't worried about anyway. All right, so this is how the fight would have gone had I just gone straight through. Uh, and you'll notice I didn't boost because why? We weren't going for the win and I didn't need to really boost for this fight. So you can see here, I'm in Curse of Hellfire, so I'm now immune to Incinerate. So I don't have to worry about his aura or anything like that. Um, if I get caught by the special one, no problem. And down he goes. All right, so that's how that fight pretty much would have went, even if um, the global had been enabled. Uh, we would have still been okay. All right, so that was obviously my last fight uh, of this war. Uh, all I do here, just go and uh, uh, free up my champs. Uh, and I look down there, and it looks like they cleared the middle, which I didn't think they were going to, but I think they changed because they wanted some more points. All right, so we'll be right back, and we'll see how this war ended. Mm -hmm. 
And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So we ended the season with a win. So uh, we're still locked into our uh, ranking. So it's nice to win uh, the final war of the season, but it's not going to really make a difference as far as our rewards go. Uh, and I will have a video out uh, very shortly after this video uh, with the rewards opening uh, and the results and all of that. So you can see it. I know it's late, but better late than never, right? Anyway, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.